Hi there guys and welcome to today's Products in Focus. Uh, US Fed rebounded late again in the session after breaking down below potential support at 16.738. Now halfway between two ranges, most equity markets are having a slow bounce. Germany 30 looking a little bit uh, weak this morning incidentally as we get closer and closer to today's non-farm payrolls which has uh, ramifications for most global markets for the uh, for the next month or so. Uh, next potential resistance here is 16,969. Uh, and we've actually seen a lot over the last couple of sessions that markets completely rebound. You can see it here on Monday, you can see it here on Tuesday, and you can see it again there last night. It goes massively one direction, then towards the end of the session, it bounces back the opposite <laughs> way so uh, lots of volatility there in the markets and obviously non-farm payrolls today um, you know things could be uh, very volatile so just be a little bit careful there uh, and a lot of people will be obviously keenly awaiting that figure today to get a bit of an idea if uh, interest rates in the US are likely to raise sooner rather than later so UK 100 broke also below 64 63 its potential support uh, to rebound again but a very very uh, ex uh, negative um, sell-off there uh, towards the end of the session um, but we are in the middle of two ranges right now this still looks really weak um, death cross on the moving averages technical indicators obviously going oversold right now but not yet a signal to, to buy back um, so there is certainly still pressure here um, moving on to Japan 225 it got absolutely hammered yesterday to reverse back but then it's moving back up today because dollar yen has a uh, reverse course and has touched 110 again I believe um, doing very very well over the last uh, the last couple of sessions, so it'll be interesting to see how that continues to uh, to, to kind of pan out. Um, but yeah, um, the yen uh, dollar yen FX pair will continue to dominate Japan two five. Um, monetary st stimulus will continue to aid um, the Japanese economy, um, but the Japanese economy also doesn't want the yen to depreciate too much because there is a uh, there is a slight fine balance right there. Um, but certainly as we're seeing a bit of a recovery uh, in the dollar index and we've seen some some moves uh, on the dollar uh, to the positive side overnight um, not like a massive rebound but we have seen a little bit of a reversal for fortunes on there um, that that will still continue to help uh, some marketplaces on there but especially japan 25 with dollar yen so next potential uh, resistance 15.828 so moving on to that dollar yen um, you can see that we actually went back into positive territory let me just go on to my uh to my daily chart it's actually a weekly chart I've got right there and um, you can actually see that we've had had an attempt to uh, to get back up uh, today <laughs> obviously a bit of a volatile session yesterday we actually closed down we had Wednesday was a bad day Tuesday not so great actually we've had a little bit of a rebound uh, to, to 109 sorry I mentioned 110 before but back to back to 109 um, it's interesting that the candle wicks are getting a little bit longer on there, but to be fair, it's all about non-farm payroll today, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But it's having an attempt to try and um, get get back up there. And we are trading above that 21 period SMA, so that'll be worth looking at as well. Um, moving on to crude oil West Texas, very volatile, bouncing all over the place. Look at this rebound, hit $89, pretty much bang on, and it's back into this range again. So uh, we're trading above 91.28, next potential resistance 92.85, very strong hammer formation there would be people who would be interesting to buy at the support at 89 nothing's really changed fundamentals wise so i from a technical perspective you might actually think this is this is a very very strong technical signal i've seen it before on crude and been disappointed um you know this is a very 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 strong hammer formation the fundamentals haven't changed people are still worried about long-term demand from china um, fundamentals still seem kind of quite stacked against West Texas so just be very wary if, uh, if looking to trade uh, crude on the long side um, but yeah very interesting technical moves on there gold pretty much waste of time moving back down as the dollar uh, as the USD begins to gain momentum on the back of non-farm payrolls raising rates in the US rising rates in the US would have an impact on gold non-farm payrolls come out really strong expect gold to take some brunt of the pressure here next potential support 1180 so finishing up with the euro dollar and uh, GP USD. So euro dollar not really doing a huge amount. I had a good day yesterday. Going back down again today as that dollar strength comes back in ever so slightly. Um, Twelve at uh, one spot twenty eight sixty one is the potential resistance. This is going to be the pivot today, I think. And if we finish up with GBP USD, um, you'll be able to see that that weakness is still cascading down. Not so, not such a great technical picture. Lots of volatility each one of the days. You're probably looking at one spot 60 or nine still being that potential support. Obviously, if non-pump comes out to be particularly good. Um, so 
Market calendar wise, we do of course have uh, your non farm payrolls data. So just make sure that you've got your uh, recurring alerts set on that. Uh, you can see here by this icon, I've already got that set. So every non farm payroll, I always, uh, I always make sure I see it. And I'll also be looking at the unemployment rate today as well. And um, even after non farm payrolls, you've still got no manufacturing business index coming out, which you've also got to set uh, an alert on there as well. And you guys should as well. So, fast forwarding on to Monday, right there, you've got UK housing index and uh, some Canadian data that's nothing too too exciting so really it's all about today remember we've got that non-farm payrolls webinar that we always do go to live trader events here and uh, you'll get the opportunity to um, to sign up right here and that's live with two of our global analysts let's just finish up by having a quick look at the client sentiment information and you can see there that this gives you the, the view as to what our clients are doing right now. 66% of clients are short, US 30, 68% are long, Germany 30, UK 100, Japan 55. So they're on the long side as we begin to see that extended sell off, people start buying up. Whereas if you look at the US 30, we actually have an overall short position by our client base. Looking at Euro dollar, 95% of our top clients are short. So they're obviously hoping for a, a very strong NFP figure there today. And join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.